Welcome to my channel folks. If you have been following my videos, I have been demonstrating how to use serverless architectures to take backups of your EPS volumes and also how to clean them up using serverless functions. Some people find it quite difficult to manage the lifecycle of their data by using Lambda functions because they are not familiar with the programming or they are not familiar with the roles that are required to set it up. So if you're one of those people who are not sure how to set up automation for your EBS snapshots through Lambda, this video is for you because Amazon has launched a new service called as Data Lifecycle Manager, which is going to make your life really, really easy in managing your EBS snapshots. There is no need of writing Lambda functions, copying them and setting them up and monitoring them whether your Lambda is run and also monitoring whether your snapshots are being cleaned up in a timely way. All you have to do is go to your lifecycle manager and set up a policy which says pick up these tags saying DLM snapshot is true or EBS lifecycle management is true and your new snapshots are created and appropriately tagged. That is all it is there to do. Just tell the lifecycle manager which EBS volumes are to be taken for snapshots. That is all you have to do. And once you do that, once you go to your uh, snapshot section, you will find a uh, new snapshots tagged with the appropriate policy and you also find the snapshot ID with the description that you have created as shown in your screenshot. So this is for taking the snapshots. You can also use the lifecycle manager for managing your snapshot uh, lifecycle also. That is in other words, deleting the lifecycle policy or deleting the snapshots in other words. So all you have to do is go to the lifecycle management again and say these are the snapshots that I want to retain. Say for example, I want to retain the last 20 snapshots then automatically the 21st snapshot or the oldest one will be deleted for you and you will have the latest 20 snapshots. So let us go over to our uh, GUI and see how we can set it up. Here we are in my GUI for Virginia region and you can see here there are three snapshots and for a couple of them I have added a tag called as EBS hyphen DLM that is data lifecycle manager equal to true. So where do I go ahead and set the lifecycle policy? You can see here there is a new entry here under EBS of block store. So let us go ahead and click on that and we will have a new dashboard which looks like this and just go ahead and click on create snapshot lifecycle policy. Let us go ahead and say EBS DLM and daily schedule. That's what my uh, description for this policy is going to look like and which volume do I want to tag? Yes, I want to volume tag certain volumes only. So I'm just going to choose this one which says EBS hyphen DLM and the value is going to be true. So I don't want to add, choose any other volumes which are not having these tags. So that is my default schedule and how often do I want to take my backup? If you want to happen at every 12 hours, go ahead and choose that or if you want to go ahead and ha take it every a day then go ahead and choose 24 hours and what time do you want to take a backup let us say right now the time is about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock I want I want to set it up that way then I'm just going to put it up say for example in this case let us go ahead and say I want to do it at 20 UTC time so after my office work is done and after I give it a couple of hours for the systems to cool down, that is not much of IO activity, then I go ahead and take a backup. So if you want to say 2030, all you have to do is just go ahead and edit it. And how long do you want to retain your uh, snapshots? Let us say I want to retain the last 35 snapshots. That is, I want 35 days of backup. Then you can see here automatically the number will get updated here. It says the last 35 snapshots or 1.2 months old of data will be retained. And do I want to have any tags added to my snapshots? Then I will say, yes, I will say EBS. I'm just going to say DLM and I'm going to say managed equal to true. So this means that all the volumes or all the snapshots that are created through this policy will have this tag by default added and I can have some other automation can look for this tag and pick them up for restoring them or pick them up for a cleanup or moving them to another region for disaster recovery. So you once again you don't have to worry about creating your own role because as Amazon says if the EBS role is not present one will be created automatically with all the needed permissions. So you don't have to worry about any 
uh, IAM roles and how to set them up and all the uh, doubts that comes along with it. And finally, let us make sure that this policy is enabled. Go ahead and click on create policy. So that is all that is there in creating your EBS snapshots in an automated way. So from this point onwards, Amazon is going to take care of your automated snapshots and it is going to trigger uh, them and put them in your snapshot section. So remember that when you set it up for the first time, it takes about one or two hours for the policy to kick in to trigger the first snapshot. So you might have to wait for a few minutes uh, so that you can go ahead and see whether the snapshots have been created or not. If I go ahead and see in my Virginia region, once again, in my snapshots, you will see the only th original three ones. You will not see the new ones added. If you wait for some time, you will have it. Uh, or if you cannot wait, uh, what I have done is I have just done it in another region. For example, in this case, I have done it in Ireland and uh, you, it looks like this. Here you can see here uh, the life cycle is main, managed as uh, mentioned as daily cycle. And then you can see here the description is mentioned created for this policy. As you can see here created for this policy. This is my new snapshots and every day you can see here the two snapshots are getting triggered. So that is how you automate your snapshots without using uh, serverless Lambda functions or uh, CloudWatch log events or uh, rules and anything. Just go ahead and choose the Lifecycle Manager and configure it. And remember for now this feature is available only in three regions that is Ireland and Virginia and Oregon and Amazon is planning to roll this out uh, in all other regions. Until then you can use this feature if you're using these regions and leverage the functionality that comes built in instead of using custom code. If you have any difficulty, I would like to happy to help you with them in the comment section. Go ahead and put them there. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.